What is up? So, it's been a minute since I've done a review. Been a busy bee, so to speak. Uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, we launched our website and um, just a lot of business uh, business oriented things have have really been uh, going on and and I've just been crazy busy with with my coils and and everything like that too so um, I apologize for not staying on the review game and and that's something I'm gonna get back up on too because I know a lot of uh, a lot of you guys like to watch our material uh, so like I said I have the entire line here of zombies e juice to go over with you guys uh, this stuff is is one of uh, the lines that that really kind of caught my attention not only just because of their artwork but because each one comes in a unicorn bottle and uh, that alone in itself is is a really 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 cool perk also the juice itself is really really good uh, out of the eight flavors there really was only one flavor that I did not prefer um, and we'll go over that but as in a whole the uh, the zombies line is absolutely phenomenal they're located um, out of uh, Philadelphia PA so uh, for me I like uh, I really like vendors that are within my home state and uh, I like to support vendors that are, are, you know, close to me. And Philly's not that far. So, uh, yeah. But enough rambling, enough rambling. Let's get on with tasting this juice. Now, the first flavor we're going to go over is isolation. Okay. And uh, each one is different. Artwork-wise. Uh, the flavor is labeled right on the side of the bottle, which is a perk. Because... Uh, you know, it's nice to see the description on the side of the bottle. Uh, makes things a little bit easier, especially if you have a lot of liquid. Uh, so the first one is isolation. And isolation is assorted berries and an icy menthol. Uh, I've had this line for about, I would say, a week. have been able to go over it, you know, really thoroughly. Um, and it is a good line of liquid in general. Like I said, there was only one flavor that I really didn't prefer and uh, that was it. But other than that, it is phenomenal. So we're going to go ahead and drip this and uh, what I'm using right now and I did uh, deck my mod out <laughs> specifically for the interview. I mean review, excuse me, interview, review. But yeah, sent some stickers too. Um, the bottles that they sent us came in kind of like the uh, uh, a shell case, and each one came with a vape band and a sticker, and I thought that was really really cool. Uh, the way it's marketed is just phenomenal. So here we go, and I am vaping on. Um, I'll be vaping at 75 watts, and I'm using a set of Fuse Clapton's. Made by myself, MK Coils, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's a candy berry. Uh, I get blueberry, and then. On the inhale, it's a it's a combination of uh, the candied candied blueberry and the menthol, and then on the exhale, it's a uh, it's more of like a, a minty menthol. The menthol isn't uh, a heavy menthol. There's a lot of menthols out there that are just like whoa, blow you away, blow you out of the water. But this is nice and, and nice and smooth. And uh, I have uh, vaped this in the morning. I like to sometimes wake up to a fresh vape. And uh, this has been really nice in the morning. It doesn't stay in your wicks uh, either as far as the menthol goes. Um, I know, you know, some menthols, like I, I just said, you know, they're, they're crazy. And it takes forever for them to get out of your wicks or your tank. But this is a, this is a menthol that menthol flavor that easily could, uh, you know, be applied to a tank or, or used in an RDA and then switched up with flavors. No problem. 
So, the second flavor is Z Quarantine. And, let's see artwork on that one. Z Quarantine. And that is sweet and creamy strawberry custard with a hint of praline. And I am a personal fan of strawberry and strawberry custards. And praline just uh, freaking adds to that. You can't go wrong with pecans, man. So, drop a little bit of this on here. All right, Z quarantine. Strawberry and creamy goodness on the inhale. And then the praline on the exhale. Perfectly done. Perfectly, perfectly done. That's a that's a beautiful flavor right there. That was one of my favorites, actually, out of this line. Uh, next up is Raging Contagion. Boy, when I vape a lot, I tend to get uh, moisture in my beard. It's interesting. But uh, next one is uh, Raging Contagion. This is a, uh, a candy flavor. Um, it's crushed free candy and lemon. There's artwork on that. And one thing I'm kind of like leery about with lemon flavors is like a lot of citrusy or lemon flavors will be just kind of like menthol flavors that are like way overpowered. Um, and all you get is, is lemon. And this is fantastico because it is perfectly blended with the candy. Ooh. Well, that's a good one. That's another one. That I really, 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 really liked. On the inhale, it's uh, it's a combination of both. On the in inhale, it's uh, the the crushed candy, fruity candy. Must taste like a Hawaiian punchy kind of like candy, and then the lemon is is light on the exhale. It, it's uh, it's a, a damn good flavor. It really is. Perfectly done. Okay, this next flavor is my personal favorite out of all of the flavors. And as you can see, it's the one that has the most out of it so far. Uh, it's Zomberries. And even the artwork is my favorite. I love that freaking eyeball hanging out of the zombie skull. That's awesome. And it is three different strawberry extracts. Um, Three different zombie, uh, th th three different strawberry extracts with a sweet and rich Bavarian cream, and it's good. Just like, just like the uh, other ones, it's good stuff. But like I said, this one was my personal favorite, and like I said already, I am a complete and total freaking sucker when it comes to strawberry flavors and strawberry custard flavors and it's just gets me there. Cotton candy is another one too that I really like. Blue cotton candy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's perfect combination of different kinds of strawberry I blend in just like one perfect strawberry flavor with the Bavarian cream. Woo! 
Oh man. Like I said, that's my that was my favorite. Out of the line. Perfectly done, guys. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly done. The next up is immunity. Immunity is uh, excuse me, I'm gonna take a little drink of Pessy here. Immunity is milk bubble tea infused with crushed mint leaves. Let's see our work on that. That's a pretty cool one too. Half his skull's missing. His brain is exposed. Looks pretty messed up. That's for sure. Uh, this is another one that um, is kind of had you know the menthol in it, but it's not a. Once again, it's not an overpowering menthol. It's um, it's a mint. It's I wouldn't even go as there goes my fire alarm. All oh, this man. Oh no no no. I've done reviews before where my fire alarm goes off because I closed my door. I saved it that time. So, I'm going to have to get a bag over it or something. But yeah, I wouldn't go as far as saying it's a complete menthol. I would say it's a mint. Mint, for sure. Um, and it is perfectly done. Bubble tea? Uh... I get like a chamomile kind of like tea with mint. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know what bubble tea is. Uh, Tara told me, my fiance told me that it's uh, some sort of tea that's served by vendors in New York. So I'll have to do a little research on what bubble tea exactly is, but I get chamomile tea. On the inhale with uh, mint on the exhale. And that is just like uh, just like the isolation, it's uh, it's minty, but it's not a flavor that's going to stay in your wicks. Um, Granted, I am using fused Claptons, which wick like, you know, a son of a gun, but it's a, uh, it's not overpowering. And she's dry. So, next up is Undead Scream. And this is creamy vanilla milk, and it couldn't get any more simple than that. And that's some cool artwork there. Yeah. That's one thing I did really, really, really like was, uh, and really kind of like caught my attention was um, the artwork. It's really cool. But I've seen a lot of vendors that have, you know, incredible artwork. It's just as a zombie theme that kind of uh, really got me. I'm a, I'm a metalhead by heart, so, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Put the top cap back on. Sorry, I had to get up there and, uh, close my door again. Okay, here we go. Spot on, on point, creamy vanilla milk. Inhale, exhale. Inhale is, uh, I would say, vanilla -y. You get the vanilla, and on the exhale, it's just a milky, creamy goodness. That's a good one. So, next up, 
Banana pie. Yeah. If you guys like banana, this is banana a banana cream pie to die for. Where's the artwork on that one? It's really cool. So I actually uh, put this liquid in my my TFV4 and uh, I was was really surprised. That's another thing. The TFV4 is just freaking amazing, and uh, it's a phenomenal tank. And the flavor just opened up. It could taste is completely different in a tank. It tasted completely different in a tank than uh, than in my RDAs. And uh, I was like, whoa. But some liquids are like that. So um, this is banana cream pie. Instantly, right off the bat, banana. Not an artificial banana with cream. And there's crusty notes in there on the exhale. And, uh, Wow. Not really a personal fan of banana flavors, to be honest with you, because a lot of them taste artificial, but this is one that's really, really, really done well. Wow. Freaking awesome. Awesome job, zombies. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Okay, so our final flavor. And I saved this for last. Uh, is the flavor that I didn't really like. Um, it's the Zombie Chomp. Artwork is cool. But it's a fresh guava with a smooth vanilla custard. It just didn't do it for me. Um, only flavor that I didn't really, really, really like. Um, but... For the sake of the review, I'm going to put a little bit of this on my wicks and go ahead and vape just a little bit of it. Um, I have never really been a fan of mango or guava or anything like that. Um, so for me, it's a subjective thing. I'm not saying that some of you might not like it, or if you like guava or you like mango, this may be the liquid for you. Um, but for me, on a personal level, it just just doesn't do it. Uh, I I mean, I love the, the, the fruit. I love guava and mango fruit, but flavor-wise, e-liquid, no. It just doesn't do it for me. But we'll go ahead and do it just for the sake of the review. On the inhale, I get like I'm eating a uh, a mango rind or a guava rind, but that's like I said, that's just my taste buds, and I'm not docking this liquid at all. It, you know, it, it's phenomenal. The whole line, zombies in general, is freaking amazing, and we're definitely going to be carrying it. Um, the only thing I don't really like about the inhale is the fact that. You're, to me, it tastes like you're chomping on a freaking rind of mango or guava. Um, and then I don't really get any custard notes at all, um, in, in the least bit. Um, that's, that's really, that's really it, but I mean... Mm -mm. It just, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry, but that flavor is, it just doesn't sit right with me. But that's it. That's the Zombies Review. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up contact information for you guys. Uh, so if you would like to order, you can get a hold of them. Like I said, they are out of Philly. Um, uh, I talked to, well, my fiance talked to uh, Brianna Snyder. She's the vice president and the sales marketing director at Zombies. So, 
Um, that for any vendors, that's the person you definitely want to talk to if you're looking to carry this liquid in your shops or on your website. Um, I want to do a, a few call outs uh, to some companies and people that have, have helped us and and uh, kind of fostered us in, in growing here. Um, not only on our YouTube YouTube channel, but uh, you know, it, it as our uh, in our business as well. Um, the first being Eminem Custom Works, uh, Mike and Mindy Watson. You guys are are amazing people. You have helped us along the way so much. Uh, it's just been just been awesome, you know, knowing you guys and 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 interacting with you. Uh, and I just want to shout out and say thank you for everything you've done for us and and thank you for the awesome boxes that you guys make and you you distribute to the vaping community. Secondly, secondly, Christian Walters, um, he's rocking some of my work right now, and uh, you can uh, you can follow him on Instagram at at um, uh, who the fuck is Chin, and <laughs> F U Q is Chin. Um, he's uh, he's like I said, he's rocking some of my work, and he's he's repping for us. And I uh, just want to shout out and say thank you, Christian. You are the man, and your talent as far as your tricks go are. It's just out of this world, man. But uh, definitely, definitely follow him. Check him out. Look at his videos, his edits. Freaking blow your mind. Next one is Cody Johnson, my business partner, my brother in arms. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are, man. And I want to say thank you publicly. And I'm just, I'm completely indebted to you, man. And you're like a brother to me, man. And I love you. I love you like a brother, Cody. So I want to shout out to you, man. Um... Stephen James from Smiley E-Liquid, you are the man. You've been with us since day one, Steve. You've taught me more things about this industry than, than most people have. And for that, I am completely and totally humbled and completely <laughs> indebted to you forever, man. Uh, you're an amazing dude. And uh, if you've never seen or heard of Smiley E-Liquid, it's definitely a line you want to check out. I did a review for him. And uh, it's, a, it's a line that's, it, it'll blow your mind, man, seriously. So, Stephen James, shout out to you, brother. A lot of love, man. Next is, uh, next is Mike Cohen from Bumblebee Vapors uh, from the Beehive. want to shout out to you. You are awesome, dude. And uh, we look forward to doing business with you and, and uh, just being active members in the Beehive. Um, and uh, I, I hope you enjoy the work that I'm about to send out to you, the coils. And I uh, just wanted to shout out to you, man, and say thank you. Um, next is Richard, the man. You know who you are. We love you. Without you, wouldn't be here. You know who you are, Richard, the man. Shout out to you. Thank you, brother. Uh, next is the Vaping Minute Man. If you haven't seen him, he does reviews on YouTube. He's very thorough, really in depth. The guy has a huge heart. He's passionate about what he passionate about what he does. I uh, want to shout out to you, man. And say thank you. Um, we we watch your reviews. We enjoy what you do, dude. And and um, you have our subscription, brother. <clears throat> That's the vape and man and man. If you haven't checked him out, check him out on YouTube and uh, uh, subscribe. And he's, he's does a lot a lot of really cool reviews. Next is Josh Campbell from Moon Mountain. Josh, you are the man. I met you at VCC. And uh, you always remember Tara as the girl that broke the bottle of Captain Comet and ruined your uh, tablecloth. <laughs> so, I want to shout out to you say thank you, man. We love you and we love Moon Mountain. There's another line that is out of this world and phenomenal. You have to check it out. The whole line, the Max Velocity line and the Stellar line to die for. And they're out of Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Uh, next, uh, next up is Gordon Tinsley from Earth's Bounty. Gordon, uh, I met you, I don't know if it was you personally, but I'm pretty sure I met your wife at the Hamburg Vape Convention in PA, and that's where I discovered Earth's Bounty, and we brought you aboard, and just want to shout out to you, man, and thank you, you have been supportive and awesome, brother, and uh, you make some crazy freaking good e-liquid, dude, it's another line, if you guys haven't checked it out, is Earth's Bounty. They are from down in Alabama, and they have some southern pride in their barrel-aged oak line. 
of e-liquid and it is freaking awesome man I understand why they do things differently down south and you can taste it in their liquid that's Earth's, Earth's Bounty um, the next one is Mario Mastrangelo from Boondock Vapes he, they're out of New Jersey I want to say thank you as well that's another vendor I met you personally I'm pretty sure I met you personally at, uh, at the Hamburg Vape Convention and uh, picked up your line there and was blown away um, just want to say thank you for your continued support, dude. And um, you, you're just like just like these other vendors, man. You you guys have freaking amazing liquid, and uh, your your jolly jolly raspberry is one of my favorites, man, and one of Tara's favorites, and will always be. Um, as well as your uh, your uh, your Captain Crunch version, e liquid, man. That stuff is just insanely good. So that's my shout out list. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I'll get you next time. I want to say thank you to Happy Valley Vapors. I want to say thank you to all the members that have stuck with us. And I want to say thank you to our viewers and subscribers here on YouTube uh, for, you know, sticking with us and watching our material. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, a tug off of my, um, my box made by Eminem Custom Works out of Millersburg, PA here, Mike and Mindy Watson, and uh, I'll, I'll leave you guys go with the cloud. Stay cloudy and keep it real.